Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. And TheAmericanCatholic.com, politics and culture from a Catholic perspective. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. A plummeting performance rating. While concern over religious freedom in the United States is climbing, Barack Obama's job approval rating is falling rapidly, particularly in his own party. The latest Fox News poll on the subject shows that last month, 42% of Americans surveyed approved the job Obama is doing in the White House, while 48% disapproved. Well, now things are a bit more lopsided. This time around, 44% of voters like Obama's job performance, while 51% disapprove. Fox News points out a contributing factor to his drop in approval across the country is the 19% of Democrats, his own party, that have disowned him as president. Defunding religious freedom. The Obama administration appears to be balking on promises to look into reinstating the U.S. Religious Freedom Commission which its chairman, Leonard Leo, says could have, quote, catastrophic results. The Catholic News Agency says while the commission has been kept alive since September through multiple minibus spending bills that extended its life, if the measure to approve further funding for the commission isn't approved by the end of the week, it will be shut down. The commission, established in 1998, is a watchdog organization that advises the president, the secretary of state, and Congress on how to assist other countries to boost religious freedom overseas, also creating an annual report that identifies, quote, countries of particular concern. While the commission is on the chopping block with the clock ticking, Obama has just promised in a memorandum to allocate a huge amount of resources, including the use of tax dollars and government agencies, to internationally promoting so-called, quote, homosexual rights in countries throughout the world. Homosexual agenda check. 107 Catholic universities across America have been identified as permitting homosexual activist student clubs to form on campus, as tallied up by an organization that is now making an appeal to the campus presidents of these colleges. The group Tradition, Family, and Property Student Action took a look at 244 Catholic university websites across the United States and found that 43% of them, or 107, recognize student clubs that favor the homosexual agenda, allowing them to challenge Catholic doctrine publicly on campus. The organization is gathering support in a petition to appeal to the universities on its list and so far has gathered the signatures of over 17,000 concerned students and parents. You can take a look at the full list of colleges as well as sign the petition on our resource page by clicking the link right outside the screen. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. An obscene Christmas tree. Students at a college in the Keystone State are fighting back, as school officials will do nothing to remove a Christmas tree that mocks Christianity and one of its most significant religious holidays. According to TheBlaze.com, students at Washington and Jefferson College in Washington, Pennsylvania, are uniting to have a Christmas tree decorated with condoms removed from the on-campus student center known as The Hub. The tree was put up by a college organization called the Gay Straight Alliance, with a display also including signs that say, quote, AIDS awareness, free condoms, take one, end quote. Joshua Haberski, a 20-year-old junior at the school, says, quote, they're keeping the tree. They stand by the free speech of the club. I certainly understand the free speech component, but I think it's a direct attack on Christianity and borderline obscene, end quote. Pope plans trip to Mexico and Cuba. It's official. Pope Benedict XVI will be traveling to Cuba and Mexico in 2012. 
While exact dates have not been determined, a Vatican representative in Cuba, Monsignor Jose Felix Perez, says it is hoped that the visit will open a discussion encouraging greater religious freedom for Cuba's Catholics. The trip will mark the first papal visit to Cuba in 13 years since Pope John Paul II traveled there in 1998. And finally, get real this Christmas and all year long. Just a reminder, with only a few more shopping days to Christmas, if you'd like to give the gift of a RealCatholicTV.com premium membership to a bishop, priest, seminarian, sister, or religious community, just click on the link outside the screen to find out about our half-price program. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure to check out The Vortex today where Michael talks about truth and the little things, the simplicity of signs. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.